name is Haven. I'm a pup or a clerk. And welcome to another Math with Haven. Today, I want to talk about some applications of power series, that is, Taylor series. And so I will assume that you know basic integration, basically the power rule in integration, the series representations of functions. So for example, e to the x is the sum of you know, um, x to the n over n factorial. So series representations of functions and geometric series. So that's the sum of x to the n equals 1 over 1 minus x. Anyway, I'll assume you know those. So one example is it can help us integrate things. So for example, let's integrate the cosine of x squared. Notice the squared is inside the parentheses, not on the cosine. If it were on the cosine, that'd be an easy trig formula. Using your methods you know of integration from calculus 2, you cannot integrate this. But we can use power series to help us out. The idea in all these applications are turn functions into power series. For example, if you knew that the cosine of, I'll use a different variable, call it t, not coffee, but t, is the sum from n equals 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the n, x to the, cosine has the even powers, in factorial. And again, this is where I'm assuming that you know series representations, so I won't talk about how this works because I'm assuming you know that. Oh, and this should be a, a t, not an x. T. Then this is the integral of this guy where t is, I'm substituting x squared for t. Substitute x squared for t in this guy. Then you get the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n, substitute my x squared to the 2n over 2n factorial dx. Now, a wonderful property of power series is you can interchange the integral and summation sign within the interval of convergence, but so you can interchange these. So we're looking at the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of the integral. So these switched. And then I have this guy, which is negative 1 to the n, x squared to the 2n. I can rewrite that as x to the 4n over 2n factorial dx. Then I can integrate that, right? Because the n here is a constant. So I can bring it out negative 1 to the n over 2n factorial integral, x to the 4n dx, and then I can integrate that. So that's the power rule, the basic integration stuff. And I look like this. I keep the negative 1 to the n over 2n factorial. And this will be 4n plus 1, x to the 4n plus 1 over what I just raised it to. And there's your answer. This is the integral. It's not a nice little polynomial or cosine or exponential or logarithm or something. It's, it's another power series. But we integrated it, and that's great. Then you can do things. So like you can estimate this value of this integral if it were a definite integral because you know things about estimating well, from your calc knowledge, you can also estimate the value of series and everything. You've got root ratio tests and all that good stuff. So there's a really good application of power series. So I have a few other applications that are not integrating things, but I'll do those in my next videos on this subject. So until then, have fun with this idea, and I'll see you next time on Math with Taven. Bark, bark.